Okay, Mr. Ward, I'm ready for your explanation on why you've bought back my altimeter, which is a very expensive device, and a bag. Okay, Teach, well, basically, we haven't been seeing eye to eye, and I'm following the rules. Unless you change the rules and tell me to do something, I'm going to use my brain the way I deem fit. So basically, this is your altimeter all broken up in pieces. And what I did is I went to the top of the observatory, which is pretty high actually, 324 feet, truth be told. I got a nifty stopwatch on my mobile phone. So what I did is I took your altimeter, I went over and I stood over the edge, and I dropped it and started the stopwatch. And didn't it smash on the ground exactly 4.5 seconds later? Smash! And I stopped it when I saw it smash. Now, equations are uniform motion with constant acceleration. Pretty easy. Started from zero. Started from zero motion. Gravity is what? 32 feet per second squared? 9.8 .9 meters per second squared, depending on what part of the country you're from, what part of the world you're from. So basically, it was 32 times 4.5 seconds squared, which is 20.25, times 32 divided by 2 gives me 324 feet. So, I answer the question. F. Mr. Ward, you have one more try. The final exam is next week. The principal will be here. I'm going to give you a new altimeter. Please bring it back one, please. And I will see you on Monday. Is that clear? Yeah, I'll see you on Monday, but what's the assignment, Teach? Mr. Ward, I want you to use this altimeter, this brand new altimeter, I may add, to tell me how tall the Spinnaker restaurant is on the outskirts of town over the lake. Okay? Is that clear? Just use, Mr. Ward, just use the altimeter. And the prince will be here to re hear your report. Okay? Now this is part eight. I'm going to finish this series with part nine with a triple. It's going to be going off, heading out, and then the answer. Hope you enjoyed.